The ghost of a collective bargaining agreement sealed in 1997 between the government of Kenya and the Kenya National Union of Teachers which saved the almost crippled education system after a massive strike continued to haunt today's leaders. We shall overcome. And the teachers are now telling the government for the upteenth time that to be forewarned is to be forearmed. When are we concluding our CBA? And I want to tell him very politely and very straight there will be no teacher in any classroom in Kenya in January. The negotiations have been centered around more than 40 demands, an increase in basic salary by between 180 and 290 percent, an increase in house allowance by up to 50 percent of the basic salary, payment of leave allowance and township allowance. I want to indicate that yes, we might not address some of them, not because we don't want to do it, but because of inadequacy of resources. It is for this reason, it is for this reason, ladies and gentlemen, I am requesting you to be patient with your government. I am requesting you to be, to be, brothers. I want to appeal to all of you to be role models. To be agents of change. The Teacher Services Commission Secretary Gabriel Lengoiboni, who in October this year faced the wrath of the KNUT Secretary General Wilson Socion, who claimed he is at the center of frustrating teachers' efforts to get the pay hike, found himself on the wrong side at Kosarani. The committee is currently engaged in negotiations with the teachers' unions and is expected. Listen, give me time. And we are expected, these parties are expected that we will soon have a collective bargain agreement. In as much as TSC claims it has lined up 7,775 teachers to be promoted, the issue of promotion of teachers has remained a major talking point in recent pay talks. The commission is also in talks to provide a comprehensive medical cover for teachers, even as opinion is divided in regard to recalling teachers from perceived insecure places. Our teachers who are members of our trade unions congress, who are best in Mandera and such like places, TSC, be aware, we are not going to allow them to go back to work there. The Commission has therefore put in place systems to ensure that the deployment of teachers is based on where their services are needed most. I wish to restate that a teacher can be deployed to serve in any part of this country where his or services are required. And this is, and this is uh, as per your letter of appointment. With the massive shortage of 85,000 teachers in the country and a proposal to recruit at least 20,000 teachers annually for the next three years in the pipeline, the country's education future is a maze that needs careful maneuvering. I must join with you every time that I hear you and see you arguing with the political class in this country in the quest to you regain your lost glory. The government's estimated cost implication for the demands is more than 117 billion shillings annually. This against the current annual wage bill for teachers which is 161.1 billion shillings and that remains a bone of contention. It is the hope of the pupils and students who are currently on holiday that despite the promises, the demands, the back and forth between the Ministry of Education, the Kenya National Union of Teachers and the Ministry of Education, come January, the students and the pupils would be able to go back to school. Alex Kubasu for Monday special in Kasarani, Nairobi County.